This video is regarding involuntary matrix. And according to the def definition of involuntary matrix, we can say that any matrix, any square matrix, A is called involuntary if A square is equal to I, where this I is an identity matrix. Now let's take one example of such a matrix. Let's suppose that we have A equal to 4 minus 1, 15 minus 4. It's a two dimensional matrix. 2 times 2, 2. So the dimensions of this matrix is 2 times 2. Now, in order to find A square, I will have to multiply this matrix with itself. Now how do we multiply any two matrices? We go like that. First row, first column. First row is this and first column of other matrix is this one. 4 times 4 is 16 and minus 1 times 15 is minus 15. First row, second column. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 and minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. 15 times 4 is 60. Now we are going through second column, first row. Second, second row, first column. And it's 15 times 4 is 60 and minus 4 times 15 is minus 60. And now second row, second column. 15 times minus 1 is minus 15. And minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. So we get here 16 minus 15 equal to 1. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. 60 minus 60 is 0. Minus 15 plus 16 is 1. So this is an identity matrix of order 2 cross 2. So therefore we can say that A, the example that we considered was 4 minus 1, 15 minus 4. Matrix A is involuntary matrix. Because A square was equal to in, was equal to identity matrix. So in the similar way we can take other examples of matrix A in which A square comes out equal to identity matrix. In the next video I'll be covering idempotent matrices. See you guys.